Oh, yeah, look at all the... Yeah, yeah, that's all. Well, you've seen all those things in real life, Mom. Sure, yeah. Those are... Um, hmm. Were there many animals where you were stationed in Congo? Oh, yeah, you'd go out in the bush like we did. You'd hear them all for yelling at night. They got pretty close. Sometimes I wondered. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there were a lot of animals out there. <laughs> what kind of animals are out there in the middle of the night? Oh, they hyenas or whatever you call them. <laughs> they howl in the night. Did you hear any lions? Yeah, there were lions. There were uh, hyenas or whatever you call them that did a lot of yipping. And, uh, were there any elephants near you? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What the elephants. But that's the elephant. And they'd go, you know, they're trying to pull the trees down. Uh huh. Right? That's what they did, you, and, you know. It was a shame that they ruined trees. If they come to a tree, you could tell right away. If an elephant been there, you just took the bark off and the leaves off and made a mess of the tree. Did the girls have animals as pets? Yeah, they had a monkey. Jumped all over them. <laughs> yeah, they had a monkey and they had a crow. A crow, blackbird. My goodness. Mm -hmm. And they play with that. Mm -hmm. But no lion or tiger cubs. <laughs> there were, but not. we didn't have them, no. Mm -hmm. And they'd howl at night. The coyotes. They did all night long. They had to get so, used to it. Uh, sing you to sleep. Mm -hmm. Just a tent. We had really no protection. And then, um, you know, there were snakes and all that kind of stuff. Mm. You had to watch out. But nobody got bitten? No, not that I, that, yeah, one time. That's right. Yeah. What did I do with them? Yeah. They come running to me. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to be <laughs> the doctor. They ever sing. Oh, boy. Yeah, they come. One guy came to me and the spear was just dangling. Uh huh. And I had never done it. But I put disinfectant stuff all over it. Uh huh. And just hanging there. And then I took, they had the curved needle like that. Uh huh. And then the rawhide, whatever that was. And I started sewing his finger on. <laughs> I never thought I could do it, but I did. And, 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 and about. Well, that was at one of the places, you know, one of the elf stations that we went to. And, um, well, I guess it was more than a year. We went back, and he came to us, and he held up his hand. <laughs> he still had his finger. <laughs> you did a good job, Mom. Yeah. He still had that finger. I couldn't believe it, but <laughs> true. But I, had, I really had worked hard on him. And there was another guy. He was absolutely covered with... Um, Oh, what did they call them? lice or whatever, uh -huh. but all over his skin, bites and everything, all over. And his legs, they were all festered, oh everything else, ooh, festered, just awful. I worked on that guy all day long. I washed it and I, with, um, I think I had alcohol, whatever I had, I forget. But I washed it all off, picked all those bugs out of there. Ooh. You know, all day long I worked on that guy. And uh, we went back and he came. And of course, they raised their hands and clap and dance. If you've done something for him, you know, that's how they show sure. him. He was still there. So, I guess it helped. I didn't think it was. Mom was but. telling me about your monkey. Oh, our monkey. The one that did us? What was his name? Dodo? And Dodo, Dodo bit you? He bit me. But the dog. Was it an African dog that bit me? Oh, yeah, dog. Yeah, My know. face, one side or the mm -hmm. other. Yeah. And we had owls. Mm -hmm. We had an owl, and we had a lot of different colored birds. Mm -hmm. And I remember Mary got mad at me because the owl was in a cage by itself, and I felt sorry for it. It was just a little owl, and I put it in the cage with all the bright colored birds. And the next morning when I went out, um, there were only bird feathers <laughs> on the bottom of the cage and the owl. Mary said I was, you know, dumb. I should have known that the owl would eat the birds. And I said I just didn't want it to be lonely. <laughs> so, so 
early lesson <laughs> in character, I guess it is. <laughs> and you taught you you taught school out in the bush. Supply all I had. I had uh, 25 out schools. I had to supply all their, you know, tools. What did you teach? Uh, well, I taught them the fundamentals of how to read. Oh, okay. Started with the vowels. Uh huh. And they had to learn all those. And then I started with numbers from to ten. Uh huh. And uh, you just started with a very, very essential, you know. They didn't. You taught them math and reading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said the natives learned fast. Uh, yeah, they did. I mean, you know, considering they had no education whatsoever, and they just, they were tickled when we'd come, you know? Yeah. You said they were the best students you ever had? Well, you know, yes, as far as learning, wanting to learn, they, they had a real desire to learn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of the American kids, they didn't care whether they learned or not. And you said they had a phenomenal memory? Well, I guess they did. I mean, yeah, they did. They were smart kids. Well, we worked with those kids. I, I just wonder now, they would be pretty old, wouldn't they? No, they were kids or adults? Children. They were killed kids. Well, they were adults, too, because they didn't know how to read. Yeah. So we taught whoever came, you know, whoever came. And then I, I used to type and type and type little books for them, you know. Uh -huh. And um, I'd give them each one of a, bo a book, mm -hmm. and of course they had no place to put them. And the ants would eat them up, and we'd go there again. Madame, madame, moose, look, moose. So I'd have to give them another one, you know. What were the books about? What were about, you? About learning to read, A, E, I, O, U, and then little words. Well, that, you know how. But no we, stories, just just words. Just. Uh, words of, I don't know, they might have been, I forget the, if it had a story to it or not. It may have, I don't remember it so long ago. But I put them together and then I sewed them with a sewing machine. Uh -huh. And uh, I was always busy. If I was home, I was working on materials to give the natives. Uh -huh. If I was in the bush, of course, I was teaching every day. Yeah. And uh, so that was never, I was never idle. Yeah. Never sitting around saying, what should I do now? There was always something to do. Yeah. You didn't have to question I'm that. I doubt there are many missionaries in northern Congo now. Yeah. No, it was not safe even then uh -huh. when we were there. They were always, you know. Well, I do remember one time in the truck, I think, some of the men were in the back part of the truck. And I don't know if I was back there with them, but they were saying that there were cannibals. <laughs> and or the people that would eat you, I guess we call cannibals today, and got very upset. And I asked Daddy about it, and he said, "Yeah, there was one group that did do that, mm -hmm. and they did not like to go into the the um, natives did not like to even pass through their territory." Is that right? I guess so. Do you remember which group was that? Was the cannibal group? I don't remember. I don't remember that. Goodness gracious, that's so long ago. It's like it never happened. Like a dream.